Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to transpose a column of data so you have something like this and it would result in a comma separate value list with the categories in the first column. So for example, uh, we have a list of different categories and models numbers that belong to that category. What we need to do first is sort by the category uh, ascending and then what we need to do is then transform it into a comma separated list. And so instead of having these two columns of data, we have our categories and it kind of separates out uh, the list of model numbers by commas. Now I picked up this trick from MrExcel.com and I thought it'd be a great idea to share it. So let's go ahead and see how we would do it. So we have our categories and our model numbers and our eventual output. We want, what we want to see is something like this. We would have our category model numbers, then we would have our unique categories, and then our list. Let me go ahead and just copy these headers, Control C to copy, go back into my demo tab, and then Control V to paste. And let me show you how uh, the formulas will be laid out to get to where we want to go. So for the CSV list, our comma separated value list, what we need to do is create an if statement. So I'm going to use if and then tab to open up that parentheses. What I want to do is I want to see if this, so now if A2 equals A1, if A2 equals A1, what I'm going to, want to do is I want to take the value that's above here and then append it with a comma to the value that is over here. Whoops, let me go ahead and uh, add another ampersand. So what the ampersand does is it concatenates it. It kind of combines uh, the values together. So it's going to combine D1 with a comma and then my next cell here is B2. Now if that is not true, right now I'm in the if value if true part of the argument. If that is not true, if it's false, then I want to have just B2. I'm going to go ahead and close the parentheses here. So what it's going to do, it's, it's, it's going to give me this 5025. Now this formula, I can go ahead and just double click the fill handle down here and it will copy the formula down. So, okay, when I copy it down, it, it was supposed to have um, outlined or provided a comma separated value list here, but you can see that it didn't. And the reason why it didn't is if we go in our overview, we had to sort by the category first, but that's okay right now because even though we copy the formula down, it still will be in effect once we sort by the category here. So I'm gonna go and just, uh, actually I can, I can click anywhere in the table and I'll just go under the home tab, under the editing group, go under sort and filter and click on custom sort and I just want to sort by the category. So I'll sort from smallest to largest. And once I click OK, you will notice that now we'll have a comma separated uh, value list. Let me go ahead and double click over here to auto fit the column. Now what you'll notice something here is we're going to have these values here that are aligned over to the right and values here that are aligned over to the left. And that's because Excel is seeing this value in the cell as a number and seeing these values, even though it looks like there's numbers, but they're separated by the comma, it's seeing it as a text string. So the way that Excel differentiates between values and cells is it right aligns numbers and left aligns text strings. So in order to make it kind of a little more visually appealing, we probably want to have them all kind of aligned in the one place. And so I'm going to go ahead and just select this column and just make it all text. And I'm going to go to more number formats, go to text, click OK. And now everything is text, and you can see now that it's all aligned over to the left. Now the second thing I needed to do is make a unique category. And basically the formula that I'm going to use is equal, does this cell not equal this cell? So basically when I copy the formula down, it's going to look at this cell. Does this cell not equal that cell? That's going to be uh, false because they do equal it. But once it gets to this cell, where it says, does this cell not equal, does 1,000 not equal 2,000? It's going to say true. And once we have true here, it's going to show all the uh, numbers here, all the, CS the CSV list here, the comma separate value list for that category, 1,000. And it's going to stop here for a new category, and it's going to have 2,000 for 9892. Let me go ahead and show you how this works. Go press enter, you'll see it's false here. I'm going to go ahead and double click the fill handle here to copy the formula down. And now you'll see that we have false, false here. It's looking at A3 to A4, A3 and A4. They, of course, are not equal, so that's false. And once it gets down to here in row 7, it's going to look and see if that does not equal that. And that's true. 1,000 does not equal 2,000, so that's true here. And so that has given us our values there. It's going to do the same thing here for this, uh, this point between 2,000 and 3,000. Well, this is true because 
a11 does not equal a12, so that's true. It's going to give us the values that were kind of strung along together here uh, for this CSV list. So what we can do here now, if we just wanted to get our categories and their corresponding list, is we can turn on a filter here. So I can go ahead under the Home tab, go to Sort and Filter, and just turn on the filter. And let me just go and click True here. So I just want all the trues. Once I click OK, now you see that all the trues are showing per category. So this 1,000 or showing that CSV list, the 2,000 is showing this CSV list, and etc. for all the way down to 5,000. So that's the way that we can do it. That's the way that we would take something where we'd have a category, we have a we have a two column, and we have uh, these categories numbers and maybe these model numbers under it. And if we wanted to turn it into a comma separated value list, we just need to sort it first. Then we'll just apply an if function, and then we would just go back and apply a logical formula. Does uh, that cell not equal that cell? And then we go ahead and filter for the trues, and that's what, how we get our list. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.